Pakistan would be empty. Everyone would be sitting with their family and friends glued to the TV screen like this. And if you went out, you would have thought that it was actually a nuclear holocaust. Not a dog, cat, bird, human, anywhere in the streets of Pakistan. Because everyone's like that. And then when the commercial break would come, people would be scrambling and you know, going to the bathroom. None of that happens anymore. It's done. Either people have multiple screens in the house, so the adults are watching one thing, the kids are watching something else, or the wife says, you know what, I will actually watch this in me time. Let me deal with dinner, let me deal with my husband and his constant need for gratification. You know, let me deal with the kids. Let me get all of this done, and about 10.30, 11 o'clock, me time starts. So I will watch whatever I want, probably on my phone, because 80% of internet uh, viewing in Pakistan is on the mobile. I will watch whatever I want at that point. And so an interesting side effect is that the number of women viewing porn in Pakistan is the third highest in the world. Yeah, all the women were like, what? I don't do that. That's not me. They're talking about somebody else. Yes, we're talking about somebody, we are talking about other women in Pakistan <laughs> who are, who are, who are, um, who, who are helping, who are helping move Pakistan to the top of the leaderboard. Uh, so when these people are online, what are they doing? They're watching dramas, they're watching clips. I left porn out of here because it's not really something that we want to discuss. Sports transmissions, cooking shows, songs, and news, right? Standard stuff. And what are they browsing? Well, sports is a big one. Social networking, the biggest one. Right, so you've got WhatsApp, you've got Facebook. Do you guys know how many Facebook accounts there are in Pakistan? Any ideas? More than the population. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good guess, but no. The, the total number of people that you can actually talk to on Facebook as an advertised to is about 35 million. So 35 million is 15% of the population of Pakistan. And it's not just urban. Yes, it is Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad centric, but it's not just urban. Um, they're looking for fashion and entertainment. They're looking for cooking stuff, education. If you ask a millennial, can I please have your phone? The answer will be no. And usually it will be followed by, why do you want my phone? <laughs> what? Why do you, my phone is an extension of who I am. <laughs> it is, it's a fact. Your phone is a deeply personal object. There is nothing else in your life that you carry around like this. Or like this. Or even worse, like this. You shouldn't be keeping technology close to your heart. It actually affects your heart's rhythms, but we do. We sleep with, because we're looking at the phone while we're sleeping and it falls on our chest, and we sleep with it on our, on, our, on our bodies. That's not good for you. But that's the level of connection we have with our mobile technology. In fact, some millennials have said that I would rather lose one arm than give up my uh, connectivity to the world through the mobile phone. That's how serious this connection is. Um, what are they doing while they're on this device? Well, they're watching videos and sharing <coughs> videos and pictures. And all of you know this. You all have groups on your mobiles that are absolutely not for family sharing. Yeah. <laughs> all of you have it, whether you admit to it or not. And they're usually dubbed with some innocuous names like, you know, marketplace information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, all of you, I know. Absolutely. Uh, obviously you are emailing and chatting. There's a lot of games being played um, online. Social networking again is a big one. Now you've heard that Facebook is actually entering the world of matchmaking. So Facebook will become the world's largest matchmaker overnight when it starts this up. And Facebook will recommend to you people that you should connect with. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, these are some of their favorite apps. All of you went through the Ludo craziness of last year, I'm sure. It was a, it's, a, it's a game that took Pakistan by storm. I don't know what the hell the attraction was, but honestly, there were people who were addicted to the game. They were playing it six hours a day. It's like Candy Crush multiplied by three. Um, OLX, Facebook, WhatsApp, obviously. 
these are some of the websites that they're visiting the most. Um, YouTube, by the way, is now no longer viewed as a digital channel in Pakistan. We view it as a TV channel. It's by itself, it has the single highest viewership of any TV channel in Pakistan. Higher than ARY, higher than GEO, YouTube is it's actually that big. And it is also the second largest search engine in Pakistan. YouTube as a search engine. That is crazy. Sorry? Uh, Netflix. They're here, but they're very small. Because they're a paid service in Pakistan, is for free. <laughs> we, we don't want to pay even like you know two dollars a month or five dollars a month. We're, we we prefer free. So we'll figure out a jugaad and you know we'll we'll get it. Um, these are some of the brands that Pakistanis love. Millennials are in love with Coca-Cola, for example. If you look at the amount of sharing that happens for Coke Studio content, it's ridiculous. We're looking at a hundred million hours of viewing time of Coke Studio every year. 100 million hours. It's insane. Millennials love to shop. Um, you'll find them here, here, and there. Um, but the really interesting thing is, when you start going online, you realize that actually millennials might go and make a purchase inside the store, but they will research it to hell before they go. They will look it up, they will...